so I'm not sure if anybody's gonna hear me. And I should have turned on the do not disturb. But also with my luck, I'll probably get a phone call, but hopefully not. So I'm gonna wait till at least three or four people jump on. I should be playing some music. No, I should not be playing music, actually. Um, because of copyright issues. Okay, there's somebody. I'm trying to. Can you hear me? Because my speaker broke the other day, so I don't know if my speaker is working during live. So if you can just type that you can hear me. And hopefully I can see the comments. I'm just pushing all the buttons to make sure, but I don't know if you can hear me. Ooh, there's filters. Let's see. Don't want black and white. That's okay. Okay, good. You can hear me. How are you tonight? I'm just going to um, give it a little bit more time and see if a couple more people pop up. And I need to put something in front of this stand because my tripod keeps wanting to fall over. I see Denise is on and I posted it on snapchat and Facebook that I was gonna be on live tonight so I don't want to go over too much until at least three people come on because I know there was a couple people that said you know that they really wanted to hear this part and they had questions they want to ask um, because I have some friends that are actually trying to book trips right now um, for March and May. But do you have time? Do you have anything to do, Denise? Do you mind just hanging out till more people come on? Or do you want me to get started? It's up to you. You're the only one on here, so. Oh, this lighting is horrible. I know I'm a grandma, but I don't want to look like a grandma. Or did you step away for a minute, maybe? Waiting, waiting, waiting. I wonder if people get email alerts when I go live. Maybe. I think they do. They should. But I have my notes. Welcome, welcome. I'm waiting for the people on Facebook to hop on before I get started. So if you were on Facebook, just say, hi, that was me. You don't have to wait. You can get started or just um, hop on and say hi anyway. Tell me who you are. We have two people in now. I wanna at least wait till three people get on, hopefully. I don't have my glasses on, so when I read something, I have to like, 
come in closer. So I'm going to go over a couple different points on here and I will probably, so I don't lose my train of thought, I'll probably go over one point and then ask if there's any questions. So, um, are you still on here, Denise? Because I'm going to start if you're ready to start. Are you guys ready to start? This is an interactive thing, so you guys got to tell me. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Because I'm going to be getting a phone call in a minute, so I want to try to get this done before I get my phone call. What's up, Bright Eyes? Well, go on. How are you? So today we're going to talk about, well, you guys should know what the topic is, right? Because it probably told you, but um, I don't know. I'm just going to do it because it's already been like seven minutes and I need to get started. But the person who requested this video, I hope I don't mess up your name. But it's, um, okay, am I on? Okay. See, I told you I was going to get a phone call. So I hope this is still recording. Okay, so Dorliza is the one who, you didn't miss anything. I'm just, just starting. So I'm going to go, Dorliza, D-O-R-L-I-Z-A, she's the one who requested this video on, um, how I book cheap tickets to Jamaica. And okay, they're trying to get in the gate and I don't know if my gate's working or not. I hope this works. Dorliza, you guys got that already though. But um, I'm, I'm gonna talk about my, I might get one more phone call. I'm so sorry for that. Um, but I'm gonna talk about how I, how I book my tickets cheap for Jamaica and this is just for Jamaica you could probably use these tips for other places but in general it's for Jamaica um, and I can't say exactly that this is gonna work for people in Canada um, in Germany um, I have personally flown from Wisconsin to Jamaica, California to Jamaica, and Texas to Jamaica. Hey Sandra, how are you? Talking about flying, flying back home. <laughs> Can't wait to go. Um, but this is not, it, I'm not a travel agent, so this is in no way exact. That's good, you're fine. Um, this is a, in no way like precise way to book your ticket, but this is how I book my ticket. So, um, first thing, I have a lot of freedom with, I'm going to go over this first part and then ask questions after, but, um, because I have, when am I going back? I'm trying to go back for Christmas, New Year's Rebel Salute. So this time, first part of January instead of the last part. But, um, so I use Google Flights and I try to book my flight three months before I leave. Um, I'm looking at my little cheat sheet. And uh, even though I don't book my room first, I always, always book my flight first. You still have to go on, um, like however you're going to book your room, you still want to go and make sure there's available rooms left because you don't want to book your flight during some fest and they've been, there's no rooms anywhere in the grill. Do you know what I mean? So you always want to 
kind of look at a calendar of Jamaica or talk to Jamaicans or get on a Facebook group and just be like, is there any big festivals going on? And kind of get an idea of the hotel you want to stay at. See if they have availability and then go book your flight. Um, and because I do all my travel on a budget, I usually have enough to book my flight and then I slowly book my hotel. Um, so does anybody have any questions on booking three months ahead of time, like time-wise or Google Flights? <clears throat> and I like googleflights.com because you put in your destination, you click on the date, and it's going to show you a whole month. Like, it, it'll say, like, on the 3rd, hey, Jessica, it'll say on the 3rd, the flight is $723, but let's say on the 8th, it's only $419. So you can see on googleflights.com, and it'll show you all the airlines that fly, you'll get the price, the lowest price that whole month, and then you can select your days. <clears throat> And then select your plane and all that stuff from there. So, are you guys taking notes? Got your pen and paper? So, googleflights.com. That's the first tip. Um, second tip for a cheap flight to Jamaica is to not fly during a holiday. <laughs> so, our Christmas is their Christmas. They don't celebrate Thanksgiving, but a lot of Jamaicans travel back home because if they live in the States, they get that time off, vacation, so they go home. So you got to think of Jamaican holidays and whatever holiday it is that you live, wherever you live. Um, and to fly cheaper... Jamaica's off season is, mm, I would say, God, it's so hard. It, it's usually about January, February, March, a little bit of March, but more May to October. But then you also have festivals in between there. So there's like weeks at a time where there's a whole week long festival but our summer is cheaper to fly to Jamaica but if you if you are flexible you can pretty much hit a round trip ticket anywhere in the states for about 500 500 520 is a really good yes it is this week yeah my friend went on Thursday we were talking about it um, but yeah, Reggae um, Sumfest, Rebel Salute, ATI Week, which I call UTI Week. Get it? Um, there's just a lot of different, yeah, Dream Week or ATI Week. It's called, they call it both, but yeah. So if you're thinking of going to Dream Week, which is the end of this month, that's been booked. Rooms have been booked forever, but, okay, I buzzed somebody into my house seven minutes ago. Does it really take that long to get upstairs? And I can't call back either. Okay, let me keep going before I forget. Um, so holidays. Another point for holidays is if you actually don't give a shit about the holiday, like 4th of July, Christmas Day, New Year's. If you fly on that holiday, December 25th, you can usually get a really, really, really good deal. And the plane will probably be empty too. Okay, so now we know you have to book three months ahead. You wanna avoid holidays, Jamaican holidays, and your country's holidays. And the time of day that you leave. So the time of day you leave, depart your city, that doesn't matter. What is very, very important is the time that you arrive in Jamaica. So <clears throat> if, you, 
if you're staying in Kingston, Kingston, doesn't matter, I can't do that accent. Kingston, I'm not sure how that airport works and shuttles and everything. But if you're flying into Montego Bay and you're going to Negril, do not arrive at 8 o'clock at night. Unless you've been there a million times. If it's your first time, do not arrive at night. My first time, I'm going into story time. My first time, my plane was supposed to arrive at 10. It didn't arrive until 11 p.m. at night, which means I didn't get through customs till midnight. Thank God my driver stayed. Otherwise, I would have had to get in a random taxi. First time going, don't know where the hell I'm going or how much it's supposed to cost. I, it could have ended up a lot different, let's put it that way. But also, by the time we got to Negril, it's an hour and a half to Negril, mornings are good for Kingston. Okay, thank you, thank you, because I don't know, I know I have friends that like to go there too. Um, but, thank God this guy came and stayed and brought me because when we got to the hotel, guess what? The person in charge giving me my key was asleep at home, gone home. He knew the guy's number, so he had to call the guy, but, and he stayed with me. It, I'm telling you, it could have been a total nightmare if I didn't work with the school. I was working with the school that sent a shuttle driver for me. And that's the only reason I trusted this driver. So um, do not fly in in the middle of the night. <laughs> you want to try to get there. Most flights arrive between 1 and 3.30. There's a lot of arrivals that come in around that time. So e even though you're going to arrive at the airport at 1, you still might not get back to your to grill to your room till about 5 o'clock. Um, do you guys want me to talk about shuttles and taxis from, do you need me to do all that? Because the airport, um, also Negril has this thing called, oh shit, the, well, I should have wrote this down. It's some little, little, oh, Club Negril, Club Mo Bay, that's what it's called. So it's called Club Mo Bay. You pay this little extra money and you get to skip the lines. Mm, I would say if you don't like standing, there he is. Come on in. You love Club Mo Bay? That's good. Come on in. Yeah, I knew you were coming. I'm, I'm live right now, so I gotta, that's okay. Um. So Club Mo Bay, I've never had an issue standing in line. I know it's, depending on the time of year you go, it's super hot. Like when you are standing in line, coming through customs, especially, not, not right, uh, is it cold, cold? Yeah. Oh, I missed it. If it, it went away, is that, especially if something, can you type it one more time? Um. But I have a bad knee, so I don't like to stand very long. But even though I have never done Club Mo Bay, um, I heard the food is mm, okay. Held in custom for hours like me. Yeah, that one time I had three hours, so Club Mo Bay wouldn't have helped me at all. Yeah, some people do love it. Plus, I heard they have showers. Like, if, you, if you're coming from far away, you could take a shower. But leaving Kingston has it too. Oh, that's good. That's good. It helps there's somebody with you the entire time. Oh, yeah, helping you with paperwork, helping you with your bags. Like, the one time that I came and I had that trunk, two suitcases, my speaker, and a carry-on, and I did all that shit myself, like, I should have probably got Club Mo Bay that time. He brought me beer. <laughs> I'm glad you watch it over and over. And 
if you guys have been watching for a while, you know I had the, my channel monetized for a while where I would make money off of these videos, but when I went back to watch it and a commercial would keep coming in, I'm like, forget that. Like, it's, anno it's annoying to me to have the commercials on there, but you guys support me. You guys follow me on Facebook and stuff like that. So now it's like I'm developing a family and I don't want to get like the other vloggers who are like, well, so, so and so, what is this? Bush Beer sent me um, some beer, so I'm going to talk about beer and promote beer. And You know, I'm not going to be a commercial for people. I don't want to do that. Unless it's about Jamaica. Something in Jamaica. <laughs> then I'll do it. So, Club Mo Bay is good. Um, you guys can post whether Club Mo Bay is better coming in or leaving. Because I know coming in, it's so hot. Like, it's so hot. Ugh. I think they got better, though. I think they finally got air conditioning on that ramp coming down. But, <clears throat> what else? Okay, holidays, time of day. So, as well as coming into Jamaica, very good coming in. If you have to wait on a ride, yeah. I like waiting on rides, though, because you meet interesting people, and you can have a drink. Um, also, you can start the party with free liquor. <laughs> That's true. Oh, I, I want to be there so bad, you guys. Talking about it is just, like, making me want to go back. Um... So arrive early afternoon and same with departure because Negril is an hour and a half away from Mobe. If your flight is at three, the shuttle to take you out there is going to um, pick you up between, I would say about eight or nine o'clock in the morning. So just imagine if you had a seven o'clock AM flight they're going to want to pick you up at 4 o'clock in the morning. So, unless you're just going to party all night and just leave for the airport right from the party, you just really want to be careful of your departure time. Try to push it. Even though you're going to get home super late, it's, it's, I feel that it's better to leave later in the day. Club Mo Bay in Kingston is better leaving. Okay, that's good. Has anybody taken a shower in Club Mo Bay? I'm glad he brought that. I was thirsty. Excuse me. Okay. Look when you're ready. Oh! This is very difficult because when you're thinking about going to Jamaica, you want to start, I don't know, for me anyway, I want to start looking at stuff. Where am I going to go? Where am I going to stay? Telling everybody, I want to plan ahead. So looking for air, air plane tickets when you don't have the money is not good <laughs> because one, one, it can vary from day to day, but if you look on a Tuesday and you don't get paid for a week and a half and the price is like four eighty five by the time you get paid, that price could go back up to like six something so I always say you know you you want to kind of get an idea on how much it's gonna cost just so you can save the money but um don't really look at flights and times and dates, exact dates, until you have the money in your account. Because you're going to see that great deal and it's you're not going to be able to get it again. Based off the drinks and the snacks. No. Oh, okay. Because I know um, the girl that I went with last time, Adrian, she did Club Mo Bay coming in. And I think... She wasn't even in that little room very long. I think she said they grabbed a couple snacks and I think they had a rum punch or something. But yeah. But yeah, it is drinking free is always good. 
Um, so don't don't see or you, you can you can look at flights anytime. I do it all the time. I hop on Google Flights to see what the rates are, but when you're getting down to the the precise points, like you already know, I have to go this day or I want to go this week. Um, have your money ready because that that the price can change so much. And um, anybody have any questions right now? Let's take a beer break while you type your question. <sighs> Did you already say when you were going definitely? No. Um, I have never gone for Christmas, so I really want to do, I really, really, really want to do Rebel Salute. I don't care about going for my birthday anymore. I've done it two years in a row. Each time I've had four birthday parties in a week. So technically I've celebrated my birthday there eight times. And it's always Jock here. It's always the same shit. So I am really, really trying to go. Um, I'll either fly out on Christmas, because I don't really celebrate Christmas, so it doesn't bother me, but I really want to be there for New Year's Eve. Oh, excuse me. Yay, you'll be there for Christmas. You don't know anything about Rebel Salute? So Rebel Salute is a huge reggae festival, a two-day festival put on by Tony Rebel. It's his birthday party. And they actually party from 5 or 6 at night till 8 o'clock in the morning. And it's the best time ever. Best, best, best. Um, bring a chair. Those little lawn chair things, though. But yeah, I want to I try New Year's Eve and Rebel Salute. But it's, it's 50 When I went, I just went for the one day and it was $50. I don't know if they'll change the price. But the artists that perform... Christmas really I, okay I have to go there for Christmas Christmas in Jamaica would be beautiful all the lights and stuff on the water like going on a boat on the water with Christmas lights on it that would be really cool um, but yeah I don't I never definitely post a date until I actually purchase my ticket and then I can tell you guys when I'll be there but besides January, I have friends going in May. So I might do January and May this year. Um, okay, I said, told you to look when you're ready. Oh, the myth about buying on Tuesday night is cheaper. I think that works with two different airlines. I can't remember if it's Delta and Southwest. But that, again, you're going to just have to experiment and actually test it yourself. Do, you know, pick your flight. Like when you're choosing, it'll give you the flight number. Look at it on a Saturday, how much that flight is with that specific flight number, and then go back Tuesday night and look at it again. But I, I really think that's a myth, that buying on Tuesday night is cheaper. But I know flying during the week is cheaper. Like if you try to fly Wednesday and come back Sunday, a lot of people's return always want to return home on a Sunday. So if you can return on a different day, that would be good. And then points. <clears throat> if you can get a flight to Jamaica all on points, happy for you. Send me some points too. I'd love them. Hey, Kevin. How are you? We're just talking about flights to Jamaica. Um, but I did have or know somebody, not a friend, I'm not going to say friend anymore, um, who was not really close to having a ticket with points, but she decided to purchase points. Those ended up being non-refundable. So when she booked her flight, 
and she didn't want it for those days anymore, she couldn't get her points back. Take a, I missed that what it said, take something. If anyone uses JetBlue, they have this site called Survey for Points. Oh, I have never flown JetBlue before. Mm, I've had friends that gone on Spirit, like that's super cheap. Did you guys see my money nails? Ooh, I love Southwest. Southwest is my favorite because you can take two free bags. That's another thing with airlines. Um, sometimes when you get a super cheap flight, you have to pay for your carry-on. You got to pay for eyelashes. You got to pay for your earrings. You got to pay for everything. My last trip was like $100 round trip. Oh, nice. See, I made the mistake of... Me too. They give us fluffy gals a free extra seat. Is that on JetBlue? Um, what was I going to say? I said, me too, Southwest. Oh, I made the mistake. When I first started going to Jamaica, I went on the cheapest flight. So I have points with United, Southwest, Delta, American, like, I got points all over the board, and if I combined all those points, I would I'd definitely have a free flight by now. But I was stupid, and I didn't know. But now I'm telling you guys, you know, try to rack up points if you can. I know um, another girl who has one of those credit cards that gives you airline points. So, you live and learn. Never stupid. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Do you guys like my painting? It's muted because I have a filter right now on here, but I painted a galaxy. I love it. There's like glitter and everything on it. So, do you guys have any other questions about travel? Um, do you have your flights booked already for this year or next year? I'd love to know like when people are going and if you need help or anything. Because I know ATI week is coming up, but people have been really slow this, like all my friends that drive taxi or have restaurants and stuff, they're really, really slow and they need money. So I'm not saying give them money. I'm saying if you need a ride or if you need somewhere to eat, like let me know and I can recommend it. Am I not supposed to be drinking beer on live? I haven't decided when I'm going. I'm trying to convince myself to stay in the grill or Ochi. And I always end. Oh! I'm so glad you end up in Mo Bay. Can you message me on Facebook? Because the two people that are going, the one in March, the one in May, they want to stay in Montego Bay. And I don't know anything about it. If you can go when you're there, it'll be much easier to go to Negril. Negril is the best. I, I tried to tell them Negril is the better place to go, but I would love to hear your thoughts on Montego Bay. So since you always stay there, please, 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 please message me, Jessica. Okay. Yeah, because I actually, because my last two times, my last two seasons, have been shit and don't say oh your videos are great no I know they weren't and I have a legit driver okay cool because I can't help them out at all and my one friend is going with five, like there's five people total and I'm like I can't help you I don't even know where to tell you to stay but I do want to see more parts of the island this time I want to go back to you know, season two, season one, where I'm having a freaking blast and I don't give a shit about what anybody says or whatever. Because the last two seasons have been all about somebody else and I'm not doing that no more. Yes, I want to go to Portland. I want to spend a week in Portland for sure. Because that's more country too. And I think there's beach over there somewhere.
You guys, I'm just ignoring my company. <laughs> I think he's on the patio having a cigarette. I'm so glad my speaker worked through this. What's up? Big D. Big D in the house. Well, you're 35 minutes late because I'm already done talking. But, um, plus, I don't know what my battery life is looking like. But for those of you who are watching this as a replay, I apologize for the phone calls in the beginning. Well, I wasn't sure if you wanted me to use your government name, so that's why I said Big D. Like D Burnett, not Big D, like, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know. I don't have anything else to say except a summary quick, I guess. Book three months in advance. Make sure there's no festivals or... If there is festivals going on, make sure, husband, make sure you have, um, oh my God, my, see, I can't, <laughs> love you too, see, I can't concentrate when you guys start flirting with me, um, book three months in advance, make sure there's no festival, if there is a festival, Make sure that there's availability at the hotel that you want. Um, the time of day is very important. Make sure you arrive in Jamaica in the afternoon. Make sure you leave in the afternoon. If you're not a morning person. If you're a morning person, you want to get up at 4 a.m. to go back home. Go right ahead. Um, look when you're ready. Look when you have the money, basically. Once you find a really good deal if you don't have the money you're gonna kick yourself later get in the kitchen where's my dinner you know what you're in trouble you're gonna be in trouble this is my life man <clears throat> and then use your points if you have points just don't buy points unless you make sure they're refundable or exchangeable or whatever all right, yeah, I'm kicking you out of my I'm kicking you out of my life. Ready? <clears throat> Kick your ass out. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go watch a movie cuz we started watching a movie yesterday and we didn't finish watching it, so we're going to finish watching it today. I feel like I've been all like up close but you get both of them kick your ass okay you're welcome and I'm gonna post this on on the Facebook group too thank you guys Colin Kevin See you later, Jessica, everybody. Bye.